How you doing, people? I'm going to try to stick with the exercises once a week. Um, let me just get, there we go. I don't know what's going on. This lighting's really messing it up because there's shade and there's sun out here. So let me see if I can get this a little bit better. Okay, people? Have patience with me today. There we go. I can see myself a little bit better. We'll see how that works out. But anyways, how you guys doing? I can't see myself again. All right, let's try this in a different way. I'm just trying to get the right lighting, people. Um, I don't know what to do right now. Okay, I just apologize for the lighting right now, okay, people? But today we're going to go ahead and do some um, toe touches to a, a squat. I know I was supposed to do that last week. I just got sidetracked because I got a lot of things going on. I got doctor's appointments and all kinds of other stuff. And I'm not wearing my knee brace right now. I'm wearing my, my AFO brace that I got from um, Amazon, which worked pretty good. But I'm just doing it so I could, because I'm walking back here and there's like uneven surfaces. So I just want to make sure I don't roll my ankle, you know what I mean? And we're going to also use, also use that um, resistance band bar. So follow me today. I just want to let you guys know, you know, stay positive. And whatever you do, make the most out of your time every day. I know I say I do this and I do that, but I do. I'm trying to get my plants going out there as well. I'll show you that real quick. That way you guys don't understand. And I do have my, my griddle right there. Right there. I'm going to be starting something new with that. And I got my table and I got my new freezer back there. I'm doing other little projects, people. And then let's see what we can see right here. And yes, I do need a shave. But yeah. So I got basil right there. And I got, I can't remember what those are. And I got, I think those are tomatoes. And those are some other ones. And I got other things going on. And I got some other seeds over there by the, the lemon tree or lime tree. I'll show you that real quick. You can see the limes coming out on it. See it? If you look really good, there's limes coming out on that. And I've just been doing like a lot of little things, people. Because right now I'm on my off time over from physical therapy. So I'll probably be off for like a month or so. So I'll try to pop out two videos a week, okay? Hopefully you guys won't mind that. And if you don't, I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> anyways, I'm just joking, people. Oh, yeah, we got this over here. But I'm going to do some more focusing on other things, people. I've been trying to do a lot of things. I'm trying to stay more active. And I've been trying to, my best to eat better and do better. But it takes work, people. Everything you do. Just remember, all we have is time on the earth and stop wasting it. Because every moment that you do nothing is another moment you could have been putting into your recovery. So just remember that, okay, people? So I'm going to go to a toe touch to a squat, okay? Keep my foot straight because I've been practicing on getting all my motoring skills and everything in order. I'm trying to get my walking better as well, people. And I already went to the gym this morning. So I'm going to be going probably like three days a week to the gym instead of just two days a week. That's what I've been doing lately because I was going to physical therapy two days and two days on at the physical therapy. But since I'm not going to physical therapy, I'm, right now I'm going to be doing, try to go to the gym at least three times a week, if I can. Four times, but either way. And I always try to do at least two hours worth of work here at the house, every day. Somehow, some way, you know what I mean? Okay, let me make sure I have enough room. Get my legs straight. Because I'm trying to correct all my bad habits I, I created from walking, just trying to get to point A to point B. So I created bad walking habits. So I have to, oh, I just got to, I got to start. I know I can walk okay now, but I want to walk getting towards more normal -ish, you know what I mean? All right. So right now I'm trying to get my foot straight because right now my foot wants to kick out. So go to a toe touch to a squat. One. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I probably should. I probably should did a different exercise today at the gym because um my legs are a little bit sore because I did the leg machines at the at the gym and also did the cable thing cable pull downs and I did some stuff for the lats and for my shoulders. And I also get on the hand pedal bike so I could get this rope tamed. Good. Okay, right now we're going to go ahead and move straight to the the resistant band bar. It's kind of warm today, people. It's supposed to be like 91 or 92 today. But I think tomorrow it's supposed to be 96, 97. So we're going to go shorter width apart. Let's get a little closer there. I'm going to hold it in front of us. Remember, this is a weighted bar, people. Hold it for 10 seconds or 20 seconds. 16, 17, 18, 20. And try to go higher each time, okay, people? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Go higher. And you get the you get the, what, the idea of what I'm trying to do, people. So what we're going to do as well right now, if you guys can really see in the, I can't tell what's going on because the, the, I'm just getting all kinds of different shadowing and stuff. I should have started earlier, but I didn't know what time I was going to go to the gym. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to do some bicep curls. And that's just to loosen up the bicep a little bit. Just remember, this ain't no weight, this ain't nothing. Is just to get the better range of motion, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I remember people, because like what I used to do before when I had my stroke, when I was in my wheelchair, I used to compare like, oh, his stroke is like this, and oh, it's his left side. Just because you have a stroke on the same side, your affected side is on the same side, it doesn't mean you guys' recovery is going to be the same. It doesn't mean you guys' routine is going to be the same. So remember, I'm not a physical therapist, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a human showing you guys what's working on me. Might work for you, might not work for you, but whatever you do, before you do anything, if you haven't had the okay by your physical therapist, always ask your doctor if you're okay to do that or your physical therapist. Just be safe whatever you do, people. I'll show you guys a little bit. See if I can get this thing in the right light. All right. Yes, I am sweating a little bit, people. And I do need to, and I do need to shave. I'm looking like a bum these days, but I'm gonna shave my head, and my hair's getting long. So yeah, little things I've been working on, people. I just want you guys to know, I, I'm brain farting right now. I just want you guys to know, make the most out of every day. Do the best you can. Like I said, I used to compare my 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 stroke to other people's strokes, and their recovery is like I used to do mine. And also, when I meet other people who have physical therapy, that people that had a stroke or had or, or just barely had one. And I'm looking at them like, man. And I see them in a wheelchair, I'm trying to tell them, you know, do the best you can get out of that wheelchair because that wheelchair is a real bad mindset. And you can get better, but it's going to take work. It's going to take a lot of work. And lately, I've been putting a lot of work in. Yes, I've been seeing improvements. 
you know, three years plus out, out already post stroke and it can happen. So don't think that your time's up. Don't ever think that you can't improve. You can always improve people mentally and physically. Just do the best you can every day, people, because you're not promised tomorrow. Make the most out of your hand today. Make everything count. And if you have loved ones, say hi to them. Say, say whatever, because you never know when that last time, the last time you're going to ever see them or talk to them. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But just make the most out of every day and be positive about everything you do in your day. Because when you start acting negative, you start thinking negative, things are just going to start rolling in that direction. Like everything seems to be, people say like, oh, it's always something or another. You know what? Forget that thing. Make it, I'm doing more, I'm doing better. Just start changing things. You want your body to change, you want to do things differently, make different changes to your body. Start doing different things. If you got to do it safely in your chair, if you can't stand up yet, just do the most you can in your chair and just do do this. If you got to assist it with, you know, this is my good hand. If you got to assist it with this one, go ahead and do what you got to do, people. But you got to put that effort in. Was I putting in a lot of effort before? Maybe, maybe not. Some days I could and some days I can't. Nowadays I'm doing a lot of effort into everything I do nowadays for probably like a while already. And I've been seeing the changes because I've been putting the work in. Look at you remember I said I wanted to be out both my braces by Christmas. It took me until like March or something like that but of this year. But I'm off of them. But do I still use them? Yes, I still use them because I need to because my ankle still was not strengthened up yet. So I've been doing a lot of other exercises to strengthen up my ankle so I could get that mobility back. So I've been doing a lot of calf raises, reverse calf raises, like raising your toes towards your shin or towards your knee or whatever. And just hold in there, get a good stretch. And then I've been putting some muscle stimulator on my calf in the front so I could get that my foot, my foot to keep popping back up. Just the same thing what you do on your arm, you know what I mean, to get your hand to open up. Same idea. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys what's going on what I've been working on and what I've been doing. I'm sorry if I haven't been consistent with my videos. I'm just doing the best I can, people. I'm, I've got my own little things going on. I've been making a lot. Of, during the summer, I always got more doctor's appointments and other appointments I got to take care of. Just trying to get some other little legal things, trying to straighten out and, as well, people. Because I'm not going to stay stuck like this. I'm not going to stay stuck. I promise you, I'm not going to get there. Like, by doing nothing, you'll get nothing done. So if you want to change things, start making that change, people. Please. Please put the effort in. It's going to pay off. Some days I know when you have a stroke, some days you feel like, man, why me? Why this? Why? It doesn't matter. It's already done. You can't go back yesterday. You can't go tomorrow. You live in today. Do the most you can today. That's all you can do. So be strong. Be positive, people. I'll see you guys next week, okay? Have a good weekend. Be safe.